You play one of our, uh, our esteemed politicians. What was it like stepping into that role and being one of those people who tried to calm people during the riot? It was tough. I mean, you know, Congressman Conyers, uh, apart from being a very, very distinct person as far as how he talks and his mannerisms, things that, you know, I really studied to try to make sure that I captured, He's so loved here. I mean, he's part of the DNA of Detroit. So, uh, you know, you're not just going to play just a civil rights leader. You, you have to really hit Conyers out of the park. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, his, his wife, who I met yesterday, she approved of my performance, and so did his son. So now we'll find out Thursday if he approves. I get to uh, screen it for him on Capitol Hill. Gotcha. So you, you, you haven't really talked to him about this? Not yet. Not yet. yet. So you went in cold. What do you, what do you hope he says to you? I hope that he feels that we were able to capture the truth of what he actually lived through. That's the most important thing to an actor, is that we portray the truth of what the facts that we're portraying. And you know, being, being, being Conyers, seeing the film, how do you define the 67 riot? Is it a riot or a rebellion or something else? You know, I feel like the people that went through it should be able to call it whatever it is that, that they feel it was. I personally call it a rebellion because to me, uh, riots tend to criminalize behavior and rebellion speaks to having to be heard a voice that was no that wasn't heard before and you finally stuff hits the fan the bubble bursts and now i need to be heard by any means necessary so that's why i choose to call it rebellion what's up brother all right